He made this world better. That's just one of many tributes proclaimed tonight by presidents, ambassadors, and other leaders about Elie Wiesel. The Holocaust survivor died today at the age of 87. When he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1986, Wiesel was praised as a, mess, as a messenger to mankind. The activist and writer became the lifelong voice for millions of a horror that should never be forgotten. The final message that Elie and all the survivors are still sending, that are capable of, uh, of sending, is that we have to remember. Like Elie Wiesel, Hope Sound resident Alex Moskovic is a Holocaust survivor who endured the atrocities at Auschwitz and Buchenwald. Boys that were, came from the same area, most of the time we tried to stick together. From his home, Moskovic praised Wiesel for his great moral voice, becoming what President Obama called tonight the conscience of the world. Based on his experiences and those of other survivors, Wiesel was one of the first to write in detail about the horrors of being transported to the Nazi concentration camps by train, seeing loved ones brutally murdered and eventually liberated at the end of World War II. I believe that these survivors have given an example to humankind how not to succumb to despair. Throughout his life, the writer and teacher sought to give a voice to the voiceless. I have never lost faith in God, but I, as a Jew who comes from such a profoundly religious family, with my background, with my passion for study, I never left God, although he may have left me. Moskowitz says humanity has lost an amazing man of conviction who often forced attention to atrocities around the world, this at a time when it's needed the most. But Wiesel's message will never fade. As long as we live, just like Elie Wiesel did, we keep working and telling the people of what went on during that period so it does not repeat in the future. Tonight, Governor Rick Scott made a statement on the passing of Elie Wiesel, saying in part, quote, Elie Wiesel made an incredible impact on our world in his fight for freedom and justice, and we honor his legacy today. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family and loved ones during this time of grief and remembrance of his profound life.